stay tuned for more of the Sammy Davis Jr. tribute, honoring the one heavyweight I would never dare step into the ring with. Sammy, you're a true undefeated champ. Oh, wait. Uh, I think Mike can do it a little better than that, Mike. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to read this. This may be disastrous. Okay. Stay tuned for more of the Sammy Davis Jr. tribute honoring the one heavyweight I would never dare step into the ring with. Sammy, you are truly the undefeated champion. The producers of the show, the producers of the show was hoping you'd have a little more feeling, of more Mike, you know, a little bit more Mike Tyson, you know, more Mike Tysonisms, like, like. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sammy and I would like. I know, I know, you love me tonight, but will you respect me in the morning? You know, I have a theory, you wanna hear it? Sure, yeah. I think that if dogs could talk, they would all sound like Dave Chappelle. I think they that's a like theory. Dave Chappelle? They would sound like Dave Chappelle, Steve, I think. But like, hold on, son, wait a minute, baby. Nobody comes back here. Oh, I'm tired of eating squirrels, son. Oh! Oh, good night. Daddy, do the Beatles, please. Daddy, please. Come on. Hello, I'm John, and I'm Paul, and I'm George, and I'm Ringo. <laughs> All right, good night. Good night. You want to hear my impression of the 9-11 call from Johnny Carson? The 911 call. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. But 9-11 was a national tragedy. Yes, it was. Why do you laugh at that? <laughs> you said he. Johnny Carson died. Johnny Carson died at 80 years old. Okay, Johnny Carson died at 80 years old. Would you like to hear my impression? Would you like to hear my impression? Okay, you be the uh, 911 hello? operator. Hello, operator, operator Mary. Uh, yes. What is your 911 emergency? I, I feel like there's a yak on my chest. Hi -oh. Hi -oh. <laughs> Do you hang out with Norma or is it impossible? It's pretty impossible because he's crazy. He I, is. I, in he's LA, really I call crazy. him and he goes, uh, he goes, I go, what happened last week? I called you to go, you called me? <laughs> and I go, yeah, on my phone? <laughs> I go, yeah, and he goes, oh yeah, yeah, I got that. <laughs> I go, well, you didn't call me back? No, no. And he's serious. Yeah, he's crazy. Not Arnold, uh, you're pro Hillary? <sighs> I think Hillary is a good woman. She's just misunderstood. <laughs> and sometimes people, when they are around good women, they wind up uh, suiciding themselves. <laughs> Suicide. I want you. I want you, you to go up, on. You gotta, I want yep. you to go on Joe's show again. So, literally, after everything you say, Joe can go. I don't think so, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> that, <was, laughs> that was the whole episode. Who's just like, hi, how are you? Joe's like, no, 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 no good mom. It's no good mom. Joe, Joe, when Joe is doing the podcast with Lewis, he's just for three hours staring at the worst version of himself. <laughs> Joe's what like, if so you're news like, radio never yeah, happened? Yeah, Joe's like, so you're like me, mom, but you don't have any money. <laughs> it's fucking weird, man. That's fucking weird, man. It's fucking weird. White guys got a signal for nice, uh, nice booty, and it's subtle. It doesn't even involve like verbal content. You don't really have to talk. You just, you know, if I'm standing next to you at a bus stop, is you know, white guy signal for nice booty, and a woman walk by. <laughs> <laughs> Fred uh, talks with his hands and he just talks about Portland all the time. <laughs> he goes, oh, I love Portland. I fly over there. I have my apartment. I have my records. I go to Park Street. I have my Fly back. make the wrong turn and next thing you know you're in the hood <laughs> then why do they call it hood what is it like the entire city's a giant sweatshirt and that's the part you pull over your head what <laughs> is the deal
But what are we talking about, man? <laughs> what are we talking about? Practice. <laughs> We're talking about practice, man. <laughs> we talk. We're talking about practice. We're talking about practice. <laughs> we ain't talking about the game. We're talking about practice, man. Hey, listen, first of all, I thought that this was, I thought it was going to be a lot more black people here. I feel a little uncomfortable. There's <laughs> a lot of white people here. That's all I got to say. I don't know what that, Michael Che, what you doing here? You shouldn't be here right now. You know what, you should be at a Democratic convention. That's what you should be right now. You shouldn't be over here. You shouldn't be. They think you Jay Farrell. Yeah, oh, my God. Jill goes everywhere. Oh, my God. Yeah, I watch that show, Hoarders. And uh, what you never see on TV is apparently Matt Paxton told me, uh, oh, what the H? <laughs> Hoarders love dildos. Yeah, that's pretty weird, you know. You got all these newspapers and holiday decorations uh, all about the house there, you know. And uh, I don't, hey, what are you doing? Where are you going with that box there, buddy? Yeah, those are my dildos. Hey, I'm not hoarding dildos. I can't stop fucking myself. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, manufactured penises there. I'm not, I know I'm a hoarder and have a terrible, terrible problem, uh, unable to let things go, but uh, let's call a spade a spade here, buddy, and not throw out mommy's dildos. Good to have you on the show. Nice to, uh, nice to see you. How are things going? Pretty good, Dave. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of places you could be, but I mean... <laughs> Anytime you're at a place like this, you think, <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, you know, I mean, things start to get, you, know, you want to be on a, a, in a funny place, and this is one of those funny places. And if for another place, and it's not as funny, you think, <laughs> I mean, why am I in that place? I, I, what I wanted to be was in a funny place, and boom. <laughs> I mean, I'm out of it right now, Dave. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Queen Thanks. Latifah, okay? You're so happy. What, did you get a, a high score on freecreditreport.com? What's going on? Hey, Cardi B, does that stand for hepatitis B? <laughs> You're a dirty whore. <laughs> I already got paid, folks. I don't give a fuck. Hey, Sean Mendez is here. We know you're gay, okay? You keep hiding it. Are you embarrassed? <laughs> you smoke more bone than a Texas pit master. No. All he was doing was working out. Yeah. He was Eating getting up. And, well, I run at 5.30 in the morning because it's dark out, and I always assume that my opponent's still sleeping, and that gives me extra strength, <laughs> extra confidence. Burt Reynolds. That's not my name. <laughs> okay. Turd Ferguson. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? <laughs> You buzzed in. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yeah, well, that's your opinion. Um, you, what is the most obscure impression that you do? I think John Mulaney is my <laughs> obscure one. If I'm John Mulaney, I'm on Jimmy Kimmel, and I'm loving it. It's amazing. <laughs> Up here in the land of nowhere, where all things green and white seem to revolve around a backup quarterback with rock star appeal, the only thing newsworthy is that Tim Tebow appears to deserve it. <laughs> His cordiality and decency are beyond comprehension. And it, he, like, accentuates. Yeah, yeah, he does. He points yeah. it out. And looking at. See, I start to feel it. Once you start to feel it, it starts you to get, get there. The groove, yeah. And uh, apparently so is the veneer of his soul. And he adds words. Like he's, it's like he's got a thesaurus there. It's like the beautificality. I'm not even sure if that's a word. The indubiousness that just went through my brain threshold. Hey, it was nice. She was a real nice hua. Hey, very sweet, cute. You know, my cup of tea. I took her home. A goose, a goose. A whack the bag. Pinch the helmet. Whack the bag. Could you get that thing going? He's struggling, everyone. He's struggling. Can't you do dice directing on the megaphone? <laughs> hey, Jimmy, where's your fucking rod, you homo? She's a hot board. Show her your fucking heart on, you faggotino. 
Thank you. Uh, yo, everybody just needs to like chill. You know what I mean? Like, listen, like chill. Like, you know, there's like a lot of stuff happening. Okay, I know what you're trying to say, but this is what I'm trying to say. Black lives matter. Huh? <laughs> Dennis Murphy has this real kind of sing-song way of talking. <laughs> but he always gets things. He's like an old kind of news reporter. But he always gets stories about, like, young kids, like, murdering each other or something. <laughs> so I'll be like, you know, Katie and Kara were BFFs. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, they had just bought the new Future album that had just dropped, and they were smoking Kush and twerking. <laughs> like, just trying to fit in. He's like, they're L Wells quickly turned to WTFs. <laughs> you got that scene where they meet for the first time and Pacino's sitting there with De Niro. He's bringing shit down to him. He's like, you, sir, are a bad guy. I am the police. It's my job to stop guys like you, murderers, rapists. Yo, let's talk about a real issue at hand. Trash piling up, it's time to take the stand. From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups. Our plan is drowning, it's time to wake up. Garbage trucks roll, streets lined with waste. But where does it go? It's not a race. To the landfill, a mountain of despair. But we can change course, show that we care. Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up Let's not lag, sorting all waste is not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand but it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our hats, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Killers, that's what I do There may come a time when our paths cross I'm gonna have to take you down I won't like it, but I'll do it Keeps me hot, on my toes, where I gotta be <laughs> De Niro comes back you No, know, there's a flip side to that coin a friend of mine, Jimmy, once told me, never get attached to anything that you cannot walk out on in 15 seconds flat if you spot the heat coming around the corner. And I also like guys like you that like guys like me, because you keep me hot on my toes, but I got a big. And you're right, our pets, they may cross. I'm gonna have to take you down. I won't like it, but I will not. Nah, 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 hesitate. Great scene. Now hold up, picture the same scene with Stallone and Schwarzenegger. You ain't gonna be able to understand shit. Stallone is doing, but you know, you know, there's a flip side to the decline. I might have to take it down. I won't like it without doing it. Even deaf people are like, what do you think? I don't understand. What do you think? <laughs>